Hello, my lovelies. I'm uh, going down here to the San Luis Obispo Police Department. Things have changed over here. They have a couple of new tyrants. And, you know, I was being pretty nice to them until what's happened recently with um, my buddy, my brother, Gabriel, being in jail in Ventura. Now, this is unacceptable. He was simply self-defending himself. There's something wrong with the situation here. I got my U.S. postage stamp on, just so you know. I got it from my sister, who loves me. You people. Anyways, I'm not even going to talk to you today. I'm going over here for Gabriel. I want to defend his rights for being unjustly put in behind a rat cage. And Betty's out here free, waiting. Never even got to meet him in person yet. Now look. I can't. So here we are. Across the street. In the tyrant center. Over here they got trash cans. And, you know. Just never know what you're going to find. People driving airstreams up and down the middle of the street this morning. That's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> and then they got a lot of noise in this specific area, you know, in the middle of where they put the police department. And it's Saturday, I think around November 3rd-ish, something like that. We've all been here before, you and me, and me, Betty. We've been here several times together, remember? So, you know, hit the little thing in there, show me some love, let's cross the street. Not this way yet. It doesn't say walk. You better push the button. Yeah. Oh, talking light post. They have talking water machines too. <sighs> oh, okay, thank you. Gracias. Appreciate that. There's a little bit of traffic going on around here. But other than that, just me. And you, you, number one. It's a cute little car. We will be driving it around the polling station. They might take it. Lady, don't be in such a ruckus. Here's the police department wherein they, you know, took my buddy Gabriel, put him in here. So I came to check on the tyrants since they have him locked up and come to find out they're hiring a whole new you know a whole new slew of them tyrants I met a couple of them yesterday and there's a little tag on the window are they closed? Mm. Mm. they should be open they miss the UPS man I don't want to go in anyway. I'm mad at him. And I don't even want to talk to him on the little red phone. I think they suck for what they did to my brother Gabriel. Slow observer. That's always out here defending the homeless people. You know, even though people don't think that's what he's doing sometimes. Let me tell you. Look, the big camera up here. Let me stick my tongue out at him. Nee, 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 nee. Where's Gabriel? You guys, what'd you do with him? You got him in Ventura. Big fat bully boys. Gotta lock him up so he can't come over here and film you. Well, then that's what I'm doing here. Betty Buttcrack. That's me. 
Point at one north. Free slow observer. Free slow observer. There was somebody that just got hit on a bike down on uh, Santa Rosa Street. Why are you guys all parked in here? Can you go free slow observer, please? He's in your jail in Ventura for no reason. You guys shouldn't be locking people up in a rat cage that are doing God's work, ambassadors of God. That's what they did to Jesus. And like I said, Gabriel, you know, there's two archangels, Michael and Gabriel. So take note. You never know who you're messing with. And you got him locked up in jail? Huh. Big mistake. Big mistake. Look, there's one of them over here. Is he coming out? No, there's nobody in it. Oh, there's one over there. Can you free slow observer, please, sir? My kind sir, officer. The whole auditing community is very upset with you at the moment. There's a butterfly. That's good luck for him. This car. It's really nice. This is the young guy I met him before. I'm gonna ask him about Gabriel. Hey, hey, hey! Can I ask you something? You know, slow observer. Yeah. You do. You know he's in jail, right? In Ventura? I've yeah. He's in jail in Ventura. That's why I'm here visiting you guys. Can you get him out? Shandula. Okay, Gabriel. He heard of you, but he didn't know you were in jail. Now he does. He looked a little stunned, didn't he? I think he smoked some ganja in the car. He's smoking that car. Free slow observer! There's another one coming, Gabriel. Official cars only. Exit. Yes, can we take slow observer to the exit? Out of the jail, please? He's been in there long enough. It seems like forever already. You know? I gotta stand down here and beg for mercy. Do I have to get on my knees? What? Come in. Let me ask you. <laughs> oh, it's not funny. I know this one. <laughs> He's my buddy. Hey, you can't talk. You too. Free slow observer. You have him in jail in Ventura. Help. Free slow observer. Gabriel. Get him out of jail. He's in a rat cage. <laughs> 
Lord, please. Please, Lord, help Gabriel get out. It's the beautiful weekend. He deserves to be out here with Betty Buttcrack and San Luis Obispo. Uh, <laughs> oh, I hope he's reading and like resting a lot and he knows that I'm out here stalking the, not stalking because I haven't been here before yet, but. You know Slow Observer? No? Oh! He's fighting for your rights in San Luis Obispo. You should know him, all of you, by now. He is a good soldier. <laughs> Lord, my Heavenly Father, Gabriel, is in jail in Ventura because of these nutballs in here. Oops, here comes one of them. Because of these guys. He was self-defending himself. What, what's going on in California law? You know what I mean? We got some trouble down here in the mainland. We got Auditing America over there in Guam. He's he's in America, but man, he had me scared the other day. Those guys are getting. Ooh, might be time for him to leave that place. We got some good auditing done over there. That guy's rad, man. Have you seen his channel, Auditing America? Fake Mike, real news. Uh, God bless all of our auditors here in America. They're all rad. Look, look way over there. See that camera way up there? Way up there. On the light post. And I'm still here sending you all my love. Here we go. I love you. Hit the thumbs up again, even if you did it already. You know what I mean? Nobody coming out. So we'll wait. Do some auditing of the police department over here. We got the cars in here. We got this big office place. And Gabriel is in jail. Lord, can you help us, Lord? To get Gabriel out today, please. Make an intervention. I beg of you, Lord, on my knees. Ooh, look at this thing. Very interesting. Part of a bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Looks like a piece of art, huh? Thing is cool, man. And it's over here at the police department. I guess you could set it like over here. Looks like it belongs here. Like a piece of art, doesn't it? They're not in here though. They're closed. Betty Buttcrack can't get in. <laughs> Never ever can she ever get in. But I come anyways over here to the police department. Because we have to be real in jail in Ventura. And I'm really not sleeping very well because I know how it is in there. It's all messed up and sucked up and the freaking people have these, I mean, talk about being treated worse than a dog. They treat you worse than a daggone possum. Like the ones they have out here in the middle of the street dead and the squirrels because they're so, they're so smart, these people. You know what they do? They reinvent the whole wheel. <laughs> And they plant gardens in the middle of the street. And in the middle of the street, they have little plants and little trees and things planted. Because they think it's really cute, you know? But what happened is, the animals think that that's a play area, and they run out there to play. And bam, they get hit by a car. I've seen several dead deer 
in San Luis Obispo all exploded up like I don't know what happened to them. It seems like it got emptied out from the inside. I've seen skunks dead on the road. I've seen uh, various other animals such as squirrels. I mean, they call it roadkill. How would you like it if that was your kid? Your little baby possum laying on the ground and you were the bomb. The little thing was in the middle of the road. Dead as a doorknob, man. They ran it straight over. <laughs> I mean, that's lame. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that you don't plant a garden in the middle of the street because the animals might think that that's a park. And the kids might think it's a park too. It's pretty large. Oh, mommy, look at the look at the little squirrel playing in the park. Oh no, that's a turnaround in the middle of the road. Oops. I mean, you're worried about <laughs> me visiting the schools that are failing? I'd be more worried about focusing on the problem that you have there, on the failure that you have there, and the people that you're voting for. There's a new lady running for um, Senate seat, I think it is, in Templeton. Yet, there's an article in the New Times that voting is going on like till November 3rd or something. I think I'm gonna go over there and vote for her. I don't vote, but I like her. There's an article about her in the New Times, and uh, she has short blonde hair, and she's running against the current one. And I read the whole article in there about her. She sounds pretty rad. I'd like to do an interview with her. I'm going to try to get a hold of her next week so I could put her on my YouTube channel, on Betty Crack's channel, and get her some, you know, advertisement exposure on my channel for free yeah she has some really cool ideas she doesn't like the idea of the government taking over our elementary schools and teaching children about um, you know same-sex marriage and uh, changing your sexual identity if you choose to I mean you know and then if your parents decide that that they're not up on that the school will do it behind their back for you with your minor child. And yeah, so now they want to put like preschools into the elementary schools so they're not separated. And that's what I've been telling you about. That they're, they want to indo indoctrinate our children at the preschool age. So by attaching the preschools to the elementary schools, the preschools become state-run schools. All right? So, and what you have in that case is a bunch of red tape bureau bureaucrats running the preschool on top of everything else they already control that they shouldn't. And nobody even knows about it. I mean, people should know about it. That's pretty crazy. All the parents should know about it. Everybody should know about it. And, and that's exactly right what she's that lady saying in that article about why there's a drought in California, why there's no rain, why it's all up to God, you know? <laughs> she's absolutely right. Finally, somebody said it. And I want to vote for her because she said it. If you don't pray to God for rain, pray to God for peace, and pray to God to win, and pray to God to keep your kids safe, and pray to God to keep you out of a rat cage. And pray to God that they open up their eyes and let Gabriel from Slow Observer out of jail in Ventura as soon as possible. It's the most unjust thing they can do to a First Amendment auditor. And they shouldn't be stalking and following and, you know, and targeting auditors. Hey! Oh, I almost stepped on a lizard. Toledo Terry and that's what they're doing and that's why he's in jail it's retaliation and here's the tyrants SUVs right here and all he was doing was simply standing out there you know that's it which is what we're supposed to do as Americans <laughs> Ha
keep tabs on are the people that work for us, that we pay to work for us. Because they all work for us. We don't work for them. And they need to let Gabriel out of jail before Monday, preferably today. Preferably they, they watch my video and decide that I'm right. And that's since I'm praying to God for Gabriel's release and I'm an ambassador to God that uh, I think they better release him today. So if you can give me a call or leave me a comment on this video as soon as they let him out and I'll go pick him a ride back to his house in Slow. Or he can have something good to eat and be in his own house and all of that stuff. Because it's mean and cruel what you guys are doing to that man. And that's why I'm here today. Okay? Cut! Action! There he goes. Gabriel, look, he's free and you're not. Sanchez can we free slow observer yet Gabriel can you guys call the jail in Ventura and get him out please I beg of you Sanchez you can call make the call Sanchez for Gabriel Free slow observer, Gabriel. Come on, guys. Can you call the jail in Ventura? And get Gabriel out. You're the ones that put him in there. When he was self-defending himself. Action! <laughs> Roll them! You can pull out now, Garcia. Why, you don't have a call? They didn't call you on Betty Buttcrack? <laughs> so you don't have anything to do? Wham! Pobrecita! Ven aquí! Can you please go to the jail and get Gabriel out of jail? In Ventura? I'm redressing my government police department. The ones responsible for his incarceration. You're one of them there, Garcia. Don't try to act all holier than thou. Can you call? Free slow observer. Here she comes. Oh. Here comes Garcia. 
Free slow observer, Gabriel. He's in jail in Ventura, por favor. Is this Garcia? You need the police? Oh. Free slow observer, Garcia. Come on. Por favor. No te gusta la Carson. No hablar con los policías. They're corrupted. Don't tell them nothing. Bye, Garcia. I'll be looking forward to you calling Ventura Police Department to get Slow Observer out. Gabriel, he could be over here climbing up on that mountain right there. We could be going out to lunch. We could go to Splash Cafe. We can go downtown, have a margarita with Nasty Nathaniel. We can call SGV to come over here. We can do a lot of things, but not without Gabriel. You guys have him in a rat cage. Now we can't all go, go get together as auditors and go eat dinner together like you guys do. You got him all caged up. And Betty Buttcrack's not happy about this situation. So now I have you on the radar. All day. Cut! Roll him! In Espanol, ayúdame, por favor. Mi corazón duele mucho for me. For my brother. ¿Qué está haciendo con él? Huh? You're breaking all the auditor's hearts by keeping our auditor in a rat cage who loves us. We need him out. We have already three of them who's passed away. And now we don't want to stress out our brother by keeping him in there for too long, like you already have. Been putting him in there in the first place. Or me either, any of us. Anyway, what I was trying to tell you is I'm praying to God for you to release my brother, Dios, so you to me, por favor, mirasos on they're monsters animales <laughs> roll them action this is the front of the police department nobody here they're all out on some granny call wiping butts and Fanny wipes and uh, butt wipes, you know, cleaning up the runs <laughs> that they get from arresting everybody. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> I was reading about it on the web, one of these websites, these boot liquor websites. I don't even know. The way they make it sound is quite entertaining and quite wrong totally one-sided I'd say but uh yeah <laughs> thank god they had that camera rolling if you guys didn't see here's the deal in the last day or two about about with the video coverage and everything about what happened that's a rad video that shows their corruption and their the way they there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of stuff. That chief that got arrested with the missing teeth. I think he was on with all the rotten teeth and everything. Was he in Texas or I think he's in, in jail now, I think. But I think that was on Direct East channel. And 
so you just keep on it just like this because they're in there I mean you know they're in there and they know I'm out here and they know I'm not happy about them locking up uh, our buddy you know and I'm the one over here so I'm the one that's going to protest because SGV is down in that East LA way down there it's about uh, three or four hours from San Luis Obispo but he was there and thank you so much brother for being there for him when he went to jail and everything in Riverside accountability that guy is cool he was there too all of these guys Casey Camera Boy San Joaquin Valley NC Tyrant Hunter any of them all of them I love you all every single one Big G Audits Good Citizen News you guys are rad man Carolina, of course, Acura, Amanda, Sweet Tea, Audits, um, Denver Metro Audits, there's so many, so many good ones, so many good ones, Auditing America, keep on them guys, the change is coming, roll them, action, we have one coming out, See if this one of my protest. Yeah, we have one going in. <laughs> Get one by me over here. Here's one over here. Hey, free observer, please. Hi, Hey, hey, when are we gonna get slow observer out of jail? Who? Gabriel, slow observer. They, you know, you they have him in Ventura. Slow observer? Yeah, I know who he is. I know he's uh, incarcerated. Yeah, he's been in there for like a week, and I'm like, can you guys call over there and get him out? He didn't even do anything. Oh, I don't know the circumstances of that, but you should probably contact him. Ventura County. Ventura County? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Will do. I already have. They don't care about nothing. Especially not what Betty Buttcrack has to say. But they do anyway. There he is down there. Roll him. Okay, see you later. Thank you for saying my name three times. Now go do your and stop acting like a ding dong. A dorkwad. A diptoid. And these guys over here committing mopery dopery and attempted gawk while Gabriel sits in a rat cage. He didn't even know he was in there either. See, I'm telling him. I'm telling him. Telling him what's up. Cut! <laughs>